Welcome to Simple Media for Ministry. Do you want to share your spiritual journey on social media? We want to help you create messages that matter. The focus of this video is how to create meaningful messages that engage viewers for as long as possible. If you keep watching to the end, we will give you an update on the latest professional page categories Facebook is offering. In a few minutes, we'll explain some of the tools Facebook and YouTube offers to content creators. These tools help track how long viewers watch each video. While it is ultimately up to your viewers to decide if your content is meaningful, we have some suggestions to consider when creating videos. There's a big difference in creating content for an American audience and an international audience. It is important to use simple English for an international audience. We recommend slowing down the speed that you normally use when speaking. This will give your audience more time to process the message you want to share. When seeking to connect with an international audience, try to frame spiritual concepts you want to share through the lens of honor and shame rather than right or wrong. Western audiences think in terms of being right or wrong, but Eastern audiences think of behavior as being shameful or honorable. Something that might not necessarily be wrong in the West might be thought of as shameful to one's parents in the East. For example, in the East, an unmarried daughter will never spend the night outside of her father's home until she is married. Keep in mind that most of the stories of the Bible present truth through the lens of shame and honor. This is clearly seen in the crucifixion of Jesus. While Jesus was being shamefully treated, he made seven honorable statements. In the first and last statement, Jesus honored his father. Honoring one's parents and all guests is particularly important in Eastern cultures. With this in mind, we recommend not saying anything on social media that you would not say to a stranger you were meeting for the first time for a conversation. By being respectful to people, we earn the right to share more about our spiritual experience in follow-up conversations. Make a plan to end every video with a call to action. We invite people to follow Jesus or to let us know if they felt the presence of God while they were watching our video. When people respond to our messages, they are greeted and appreciated for watching. Viewers are invited to learn how they can take the next step in their spiritual journey. They can request a Bible or ask how to become a follower of Jesus. And every day we spend time replying to people who write to us with these and other questions about faith. Here is more practical advice on presenting meaningful messages. Resist the urge to vent on social media about anything. Venting may feel good in the moment, but ultimately it will tarnish the heart of the message you are sharing. Dress professionally and be as authentic as possible by sharing personal experiences. We carefully plan how each message will begin and end. We do this by writing a manuscript to make sure these parts of our videos are as clear as possible. Often the entire message is written out, but we always leave space for the Holy Spirit to change our content. We might add or delete thoughts that do not seem to fit while we are recording or speaking live. Writing a manuscript cuts down on the number of ums and ahs that get into videos. It's easy to remove ums and ahs when recording audio messages, but the only way to remove them from a video is to re-record the section. We try to limit our long form messages to 20 minutes. People watching social media decide very quickly if they will keep watching or move on to something more interesting to them. For this reason, we want everything we say to be meaningful to as many people as possible. Typically, viewers decide every three to five seconds if they will keep watching. 
We think in terms of earning the right to be heard for another five seconds every five seconds. Professional pages and branded YouTube channels offer all the help you will need to analyze the amount of time viewers watch your message. Facebook refers to this information as metrics, while YouTube calls this information analytics. We track and record what we believe is the most important information to gather from every video we make. Before sharing an example of statistics, there are three standard terms used to measure how successful videos are in reaching a particular audience. The first are reaches. They are the approximate number of devices on which a message was seen. This includes smartphones, tablets, laptops, and computers. If a viewer clicks on a message and looks at it for three seconds, the reach becomes an engagement. If a viewer watches a video for 15 seconds or up to 96% of the message, the engagement becomes a through play. Now here is an example of what can be learned from studying the metrics of a message we made on Psalm 40. The title of this message was, God is Great. This graphic shows that God is Great reached more than 800,000 devices. Out of that, there were over 73,000 through plays. This means over 73,000 people watched anywhere from 15 seconds to the end of the message. The line graph shows that the message was watched over 3,000 times a day for four weeks. This graph shows the retention curve, which indicates how long people watched the video. The message had over 200,000 three-second engagements. We lost most of our audience in the first 30 seconds. However, by the end of the message, we still had 7% of the original audience watching. The average amount of time people spent watching this message was 13 minutes. We are satisfied with that. While that may seem shocking to new creators, it is normal to lose most viewers within the first two minutes of any video. This is the nature of social media. In-person listening is not much better. Even though people sit politely through a message, most people are thinking about other things they're needing to do while listening to your message. Earlier, we suggested that every five seconds, we earn the right to be watched for another five seconds. Here are some suggestions to engage your audience for longer than the initial 30 seconds of your video. We do our best to start the message within 15 seconds of the beginning of every video. Content is always more important than flashy graphics and long musical or spoken introductions. Here are three examples of making maximum use of the first 30 seconds of a video. Welcome to the sayings of Jesus. In today's message, The Finger of God, Dr. McLuhan teaches why Jesus said, a house divided against itself cannot stand. Last week, a man wrote to me from another faith who wanted to have a conversation with me about his religion. Welcome to the blessings of Jesus. In today's message, Multiplying Mercy, Dr. McLuhan teaches how giving mercy to others increases our capacity to experience more of God's mercy. One of the worst fears young drivers have is being pulled over by police. As soon as you see those lights and you hear the sound, your heart begins to race. I was 18 years old when I came to America. Welcome to Living Hope. In today's message, Living Water, Dr. McLuhan explores the invitation Jesus gives to everyone who is spiritually thirsty. I was born in South Africa in the province of KwaZulu-Natal. Our family was blessed to have a summer home in the Drakensberg Mountains. It was a tiny cottage, but it was a place to which we could retreat in the heat of the summer and be up in the mountains. Some creators excerpt the best 30 seconds of the video and play it at the beginning as a way of attracting viewers to watch longer. We try to listen to every message we create four or five times after it is released. 
We make corrections to the notes for the next time the message will be used and ask God to show us improvements we can make to the quality of future videos. As promised, here is the latest information on changes to Facebook's platform. If you are using an older version of Facebook, you may still be able to add a public figure page to your profile. Click the plus button next to your name and follow the prompts. If you are on Facebook's newest platform, the public figure option may not be available to you. To add a business page to Facebook's newest platform, click on the nine dots at the top right-hand corner of your profile, then click on page and follow the prompts. Facebook now has over 100 categories of professional pages available. Creators can choose up to three categories for each page. One category that is available to use is the motivational speaker page. This might be a good option for you. Click on motivational speaker and follow the prompts. Another option is to upgrade your personal profile to professional mode. To do this, click on the three dots below your cover photo. Scroll down and click Turn On Professional Mode. This will give you access to Meta's professional dashboard and a back office with tracking and advertising tools. When you do this, the status of your profile will change to public figure. This is a recent screenshot of our professional dashboard which shows our progress over the last 28 days. It is easy to see why having daily access to this information is important when building a media ministry. We track the number of net new followers, which at that time was 1,659. Our 28 day reach was over 7.7 .7 million devices. That number is higher than usual because we had a 50 second reel go viral. Above that number, you can see that over 27,000 people are now following our page. We will share more on metrics, analytics, boosting and advertising in future episodes. Links have been added in the notes to videos that will help you set up a business page or public figure page. There are some advantages and some disadvantages to enabling professional mode on your personal profile. You can continue to add friends to your page, but now you can add followers as well. If you are using your profile for personal family pictures and events, this might not be the best choice for you to make. If you don't use your profile as a place to share personal pictures, Turning on professional mode may be a simple and easy choice to make. If you discover that professional mode is not available to you, please watch the video in the notes to see what steps you can take to have professional mode enabled. Ask God to show you which type of page is best for you to create. Recently, one of our viewers wrote and asked for prayer for a serious headache. She was ready to seek medical care. We prayed together and the pain came down immediately. If you have a headache today, we command your pain to go now in Jesus' name. Awesome opportunities to connect with people around the world are not as far away as you might think. We hope you will enjoy the process of building a social media outreach and sharing meaningful messages. Father God, bless this viewer with clarity of mind and the ability to move ahead with the plans you have put in their heart. Guide them in decision-making and inspire them with your creativity. In Jesus' name, amen. We look forward to seeing you again when we release the next episode of Simple Media for Ministry.